Hi love, this is part two of your energy reading. Um, I am going to be pulling cards for you regarding <clears throat> the initial question that you had, which was, um, you basically just wanted a, an outlook on the future to come. So that is what we're gonna be looking at. I'm gonna be reading with the Art of Love Tarot, which is right here. Now this is um, like a couple days after I had filmed the initial um, energy portion of your reading. So this is completely opposite, or not opposite, but it's like, it's a different energy um, from the, the first reading, the first part that I gave you. I'm not continuing as on the same day. So whatever I said in your, um, the aura energy section of your reading still is a part of you, but I do I remember the details? I don't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I almost always never remember details um, of the readings that I do for my clients. So, whoops, we're just gonna be going into this like a tarot reading, looking at your future. Please keep in mind that um, the future readings are su subject to change based on your present actions. All right. So let's start with an overall theme of the future and then we'll just <clears throat> we'll just go from there. So we have the Empress. Empress energy is coming up for you for the future. And Empress energy, woo. <clears throat> Empress energy is all about creation, creativity, motherhood, um, femininity, um, a lot of nature, a lot of growth, expansion, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's just, it's really tapping into your creative part of your soul. Um, and it's just a, it's a beautiful vibe to, to, to work with, to surround yourself with. So if there's anything that, <clears throat> that I feel like you should be focusing on for, um, the future, the Empress, the mother is, is pretty, pretty much telling me this could be your relationship with a mother figure in your life. Okay. It could be your relationship with yourself, the way you see yourself as a woman, um, it could also be the relationships that you have with your female friends, okay? So maybe like your connections with some of your female friends will be really strong. Um, you're going to see the value in certain people and, and the lack of value in others, I feel. Now that I'm getting into your reading, <laughs> getting into your energy, I'm feeling a little bit more um, familiar with what I said in your energy reading, which was... I feel like I was saying, like, you need to really um, pinpoint the kind of people that you have around you. I want to say that was one of the major, major uh, messages that came through is that there's certain people I feel that don't deserve you. Um, <laughs> they um, don't always have your best interests in mind. And I feel like there's a f quite a few people that you could actually do without. So I feel like this Empress energy for your future outlook is really you looking inward at yourself. Um, and your connections as a woman with other people. What kind of a woman are you? What kind of a woman are you portraying yourself to be to your friends? You know, are you the mama bear kind of a friend? Are you there to take care of everybody? Um, do you like to watch over everyone and, you know, be the protector in the circle? Or are you, um, you know, the girlfriend, like the, the fun, the the jokester, you know, there's different archetypes that you could be in your friendship circles, but I feel like as Empress energy, it's, it's, it's a, it's a call inward. Um, this is a call for you to really redefine who you are individually. Um, I also feel like with Empress energy, this is spending more time outside. So getting that dose of nature. Um, I like to get my dose of nature in the mornings. So I go out and I'll have a cup of coffee and sit outside. Um, however you like to 
get your dose of, of outdoorsy time. Um, I feel like that's really necessary also. Um, and it's also your creative aspect, how you, um, how you choose to um, express yourself in a creative way. This could be picking up a hobby. This could be um, completing a project you've been working on. Um, you know, different things, but I feel like your creative spark is coming back. Um, and you're going to find your interests in different ways, the way you ex express yourself in different ways. It's also a great way to kind of distract you if things are getting a little bit stressful in your friendship circles. Um, okay, so as for the constellation cards that I pulled to surround this energy, we have beauty, which really goes hand in hand with with our feminine energy. Um, it's it's beauty. Beauty comes with being able to accept who you are um, and find yourself as beautiful, as lovely, as um, <clears throat> really just learning to be comfortable with your beauty and who you are. So self love. Um, we have decorate. So maybe this is decorating. This could be redecorating your room, your home space. This could be redecorating yourself, you know, maybe getting a tattoo or getting a, a piercing or um, a new hairstyle, something that is going to switch up the energy of you. Maybe you've been craving that kind of a change soon. <clears throat> we have plot. And so the plot could be, you know, you re recreating, replanning the future, um, replotting your advances towards certain people that maybe you feel like you need to cut out of your friendship circles. Um, the plot of your life may be changing. So this could be, you know, the whole um, future aspect. Your life purpose might be changing in the near future. And then we have majesty. Um, and I feel like majesty is just kind of like really being comfortable and sitting in your own power, in your own um, your own grace of who you are. It's a lot of self-love. It's a lot of self-acceptance. Um, and I feel like that is a big one for you this coming, um, I would say, next few months. So little subtle changes on the outside of you. So like I said... <clears throat> Switching up your hairstyle, makeup, maybe you're going to get a tattoo, maybe you're going to get a new piercing, I don't know, something like that. Um, switching it up for yourself. And then on the inside, it's working more so with your, um, with your confidence and loving who you are. All right. So we have King of Angels, Peace and Peace Warrior, Ten of Stars, Hoarding, and we have Transition, Contemplation, Contemplation, you got two Contemplation cards, and you have Curiosity. So for the future to come, I do feel like the flow of, of switching up your social circle is going to be one big one that's going to happen. Um, I feel like the Hoarding card kind of shows that. A Ten of, a ten of Stars, it's kind of showing like... You have a lot in your family tree or, or your friendship, okay? There's a lot of like, maybe there's three main people, okay, that, that are in your friendship circles that mean a lot to you. But then there's a lot of these stars here that fell to the floor. And to me, and I'm just taking the image to kind of help me with the reading, but to me, the, the stars that once maybe once decorated this tree are now on the floor. And perhaps it's because they don't, <clears throat> they no longer serve a purpose in your life. So that's why I was saying I feel like some of your friends, um, your friends are going to be taking off. Um, they may be leaving on their own or it may be you telling them it's not working anymore. Um, we have too, <clears throat> too many differences of opinion. Um, we just don't vibe together, that kind of thing. So I feel like that's going to start taking place. This is going to start happening. Um, it is a 10, so perhaps in the month of October, you may start to see this happen. I apologize. It's a little dark. I think it's because of my salt lamp. <laughs> he's a little uh, he's a little bright, <laughs> so I'll just turn that off. Um, okay, and then we have um, 
the king of angels or the peace warrior so like i said um i feel like with your the way that you play a role in a lot of your social circles you're kind of like mama bear energy but you're also the peacekeeper um so you may be that person who tries to get everybody to get along you try to get everybody to um to be together as a family as one but not everybody is on the same page there's a lot of changes um in your flow of of people who who once maybe you connected with but no longer um and it's going to get to the point where you can no longer hold the peace for that it's just natural we outgrow each other sometimes and then we have the six of angels or transition um, and transition is really just, this is the change. This is the shift. Six of angels is also six of air in the tarot. So that is, you know, you're leaving a stressful situation and you're moving to more peace and sensuality. So I do feel like as far as your social circle goes, there will be movement. Some of your friends will be leaving or it will be you. Okay. You will be taking off. <laughs> um, and then we have two retreat cards. So seven of trees and um, we have the contemplation card. So I feel like this is really asking you to slow down um, this next couple months. I would say up until maybe six months from now. Really take it easy. Don't be as aggressive with friendships. Don't be as aggressive with love. I know, um, you know, there's certain things going on with you as, as far as love goes. And I know that sometimes we wish things can just happen now and like in the moment as we want it to happen. Um, but it's, at the same time, you also have to be positive about it. And I saw 11-11 on the clock when I was <laughs> saying that, when I was thinking to say that message. So 11-11 is in the number of positivity. Um, so I feel like the, for you to get two contemplation cards, cards, it is really asking you to really take the time to think, to think about your situations. This could be maybe the love triangle that you're dealing with this could be the friendships that are kind of making you feel like they are not worthy anymore of your time and energy but contemplate is asking you before you make a drastic choice before you act impulsively um, make sure that you've actually sat down and thought and considered write out your feelings you know make sure you are in a good headspace before making these changes because oftentimes when we act impulsively, we end up regretting certain things. And then finally, I pulled the page of stars, or it is curiosity. And um, page of stars is is just a, a it's, it's an individual, but in this picture, it's depicted as a little leopard um, who is curious of beyond the mysteries, the things that they have not ever experienced. They want more than what is around them. So I do feel like in the next few months, um, you're going to be craving more out of your life, out of your path. You're going to be craving more out of the kind of people that you associate with. And I feel like you are outgrowing a lot of these people. Um, and they'll notice, they'll take notice of that. And usually when that happens, you'll naturally kind of distance each yourselves from each other. Um, but I do feel like you need to go and find your new circle of friends, people who have similar interests as you, who support you and your choices in life and who are, they're not competing with you, you know? So people that you really truly feel like you can trust. Um, and yeah, my love, so that really, that concludes your energy reading, the tarot reading portion. Thank you so much for um, being patient as I get this out to you. And I, I love reading for you. Your energy is amazing. Um, so I wish you all of the best. I wish you well in the next few months and I look forward to reading for you in the near future. Um, and we'll see where you go and where you're at and what happens and I'm excited. I hope you're excited and just take it easy the next few months. Take it easy and like I said, October you may start noticing some of these people falling off the bandwagon. <laughs> and if you feel like your friends are all deserting you, understand that this is a process that needs to happen. Um, you're going to be replacing a lot of these people with new people who will actually benefit, you'll benefit from. So be patient in the process. And in the meantime, I wish you well and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my love.